back to my channel. It's Felicia Renee here. Thank you so much for tuning in yet once again for another video. To all my new subscribers, hello. How are you guys doing? Thank you so much for joining my YouTube family. Um, I know you guys are probably looking at my face and you're like, hmm, can we just see you with that same makeup on your face? Um, just to answer you guys' question, yes, you did. You did see this look already in my do's and don'ts video. So I just decided right after I recorded that video, why not record another video showing you guys how I remove my makeup from my face. I know a lot of people are wondering how do you do that. Some people already have their own techniques and how they remove their makeup from their face. So I'm going to show you guys my technique and I actually the technique that I'm using right now I haven't used this technique in a minute but it does work I ran out of makeup wipes you guys so I have to run to the store and get some more because I normally use makeup wipes first on my face also I'm sorry for the echo that you guys hear as you can tell I'm in the bathroom so what I'm gonna do now is I have to improvise and I really don't care for this method and the reason being is because it's very oily so, as you guys know, oil takes off makeup. I have my extra version olive oil right here. Yes, you can cook with it too, but it's also good for your skin too, girl. And I'm going to just slather that all on my face. Oh, this is not even the one that's open. So, now I'm going to be real greasy. Here we go. I'm keeping it over the sink so it don't drip on my counter. Okay. Okay, so now you guys, I am just going to scrub my face down with that oil to make sure I get everything off. Um, so yeah, this is just the first round. I don't think I'm going to go back in again with the oil after this. I'm not. Um, you'll, you'll see what I'm going to do. And right here, I am just um, washing that oil off of my face. Okay, and then you guys see me just patting my face down just to um, get that water in oil out of my eyes and so i'm showing you guys exactly what the oil did it did get most of it off well not most of it it's still some left you just can't see it and now i'm using my simple water um micellar water that's what it's called by simple it's made by simple and i am going to use that as well on my face and it is a makeup remover and it's all natural um it's literally like water i think you can drink it psych i know you can't so i'm just showing you guys me pouring it on my hands and now i am going to slather that on my face as well and you guys look at all that makeup that's still on my hands that came off of my face so that's why you guys see me going back in with the micellar water because i want to make sure i get as much makeup off of my face as i possibly can you guys like i don't want anything left over which it may be a little bit but we're gonna get most of it and then here you guys see me using my Aveeno Positively Radiant Skin Brightening Scrub that I am going to exfoliate with. And you guys are going to see me whip out my spin brush in just a second. And you guys, I love this stuff. It doesn't leave my face feeling dry and tight after I finish using it. And I have noticed that with other facial cleansers. So yeah, y'all, I will definitely be sticking with my Aveeno. And then here you guys, I'm just showing you um, the spin brush and how to detach the head from it, which I'm pretty sure most of everybody knows how to swap out the brushes that you use. And normally I run mine under warm water before I put any product on the brush. And I did do that. And I'm running some more warm water on top just to make sure that it's, you know, um, wet. And I put extra water on my face as well. Um, just to make sure that I get a good cleansing. That's all. So yeah. And now you guys just see me um, trying to scrub any excess makeup off of my face. And I'm going to show you guys the brush in a minute. Look. See. You see all that makeup that's still there. And that's why I'm going to end up going in once again for the second time. I'm just showing you guys me washing off. Um, the first round of the cleansing and so yeah I'm just adding some more on the brush so that I can further cleanse my face and get most of that makeup off so yeah y'all that's what you guys see me doing now Okay, so now I'm just rinsing with cool water to close my pores back up. Because when you use warm water, your pores open up and that's how you, you break out. When your pores are open, you know, all the dust and debris that's in the air, it gets 
clogged in your pores and then that's why you start breaking out. So every time when you wash your face, um, where you exfoliate your face always at the end when you're done scrubbing and done adding all the products, always rinse with cool water, cool to cold water. Okay, you guys, and now I'm just going to add some moisture back to my face because we did just exfoliate twice back to back. Um, so we do want to add some moisture back to our face. We cleansed so much. So yeah, y'all, I love this stuff. My African 100% uh, pure shea butter. Um, so now I'm just applying it to my face and I'm rubbing upwards because if you rub going down, then you will create wrinkles over time. And you guys, that is how I remove my makeup from my face. Um, I know that was so many steps, but you want to make sure that you get as much of the product off of your face as you possibly can because if you don't, that is how you break out a whole lot. Um, so if you want to keep your skin clear, I would say take those necessary steps to washing your face to get all of the makeup off just so you won't have any excess makeup left on your face and it is just sitting there and your pores clogging. And because your pores are so clogged, they, you start to get whiteheads and blackheads or pimples on your face. So just to avoid all of that, I would take all of the necessary steps that I did to wash my makeup off my face. If you already have your own skin routine that you go by um, when you take off your makeup, hey, let me know. Give me some tips because like I said, I, might, I can learn from you guys and you can learn from me. And so yeah, you guys, that's how I remove my makeup from my face. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it was very informative to you. And again, thank you so much for tuning in once again to watch another video. And also please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified of every time that I upload a video. Love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in once again and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah.